Hello everybody and welcome back to another Slay the Spy daily challenge run. This is November 22nd, 2018 and we are here to play as the Defect. But unfortunately we are playing with Lethality and Lethality on the Defect as you all know is never good. We have Diverse which is even worse on the Defect and Draft which is amazing. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I don't think there's much necessary to say. We're just going to go. We're going to win. So we got to Draft. So we got to think. I mean, Backstab is 14 damage right now. Ball Lighting is 10 damage plus CS 13 damage. Backstab's free. Chill's amazing. I'm taking Chill. Um, taking... Spray. Flash. Dagger Spray. Team Barrier. Anger. Heavy Blade. Claw. Ooh, Riddle of Holes was really good. That was a mistake. Uh, Rampage. Go for the eyes. Beam Cell. Claw. I'll take one singular lip. Or Lightning. Go for the eyes. Okay, so we bought a 15 card deck that is basically a bunch of zero costers. So if we get unseasoned top, we will be fine. If we don't, we might just lose this daily before this daily even starts. Now, I should have probably looked at a path, but because I'm very bad at the game, I did not. We have a couple of claws in here. I think two claws. Two claws and two go for the eyes. We have a lot of zero costers, which is really nice for us uh, because we can probably play all of them, which is going to be good. And especially with the... I took them specifically because of the lethality, by the way. This is why I took those cards. Remove a card or gain money. Just give me the money. Uh, my leg itches. It's really weird. There we go. Okay. Now we need to check a path out that has the most elites for us, which is two, no matter what path we take. Why? Uh, there's only one path that has two. Never mind. My bad. Ooh, regret. We have a very late shop. But we want regret anyway for the cursed daily bonus points. And we got toxic egg. Wow. That's really good. That's really good. So I don't think this regret's gonna matter too much, but uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You never know. The regret right now is gonna matter a, a lot. So, because <laughs> I'm oh no, he's dead lightning. Oh yes, the regret doesn't matter at all, baby. Do I take another sword boomerang at this point? I mean. So Boomerang is 18 damage for one energy. I mean, how do you say no to that? I mean, easily you just say no, but I mean, seriously guys, would you say no to that? Because I freaking wouldn't. Ah, uh, that's the 23, but I think we did it the right way. Now, I don't think I can do 49 damage to in one turn, unfortunately, which sucks a little bit, but it's okay. I'll take a little bit of damage. You're not perfect this lead sucks, but it's okay. It's okay. You are literally dead next turn. So we went uh, like a lot of attacks in our deck which is nice and we went for very little defensive cards which is scary because you know we still do need to get through bosses i'm actually like looking at beam sound i'm pretty much in love with it but i'm also looking at chill and i'm pretty much in love with that let's get chill upgraded so we get that in our opening hand play on the first thing we have like some form of defense because right now we have zero defense and as you all know that can be a very 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 big scary problem for us if this gets late um i don't know if you can do 41 damage to this guy i'm gonna give him my best go but yeah i think 40 damage we know well is pushing a little bit but we will take quite a bit here and there we go beautiful pantograph's good i don't want any of these boom choose a bracelet i love it so now that i don't want to go to shop anymore for the card removal the question is do i want to go to shop just for the shop that's the question. I mean, I could upgrade uh, two cards. Two cards could be upgraded here. We could upgrade beam cells, and we could upgrade like a claw, so that claw is better. We could also upgrade heavy blade, and then we we'll literally get three times five, fifteen extra strength. So we'll do twenty-nine for two, which is pretty good. Upgrading anger is also very good. Just extra damage. Upgrading uh, go for the eyes is good. It's a longer weakness. Uh, upgrading soul boomerang gives us an extra attack. So that's uh, three extra, so it's six times four, which is 24 damage for one energy. That's amazing. Um, but lots of options. <coughs> now we have zero defensive cards other than Leap, Steam Bear, and Chill here, which scares me, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to skip upgrading cards, right? I'm just going to go for the better option, in my opinion, which is the get a billion. This will kill you. I get a billion like 
damage and just try and damage race the shit out of this game. That's what I'm gonna do. Now, next boss is obviously a problem. Be Ooh, but then you give me a glacier, and then I'm like, mmm, so good. I do need defense, but I really need defense in this deck, unfortunately. Shot time. Give me good relics. Let open is not good. Lecture is not good. General Gov is not good. Clash is fine, but it's not really what I'm after. Card removal. Is this thing I'm looking at? I'm like, when I see, when I get out, I'm like, eh, shouldn't have added that to the deck. Um, uh, not really. I feel like everything that's in the deck right now is good. Let it open is literally pointless. Artifact potion is kind of pointless. Um, weakness potion is also po frozen eye. I guess I could take frozen eye. Get a get a card out of the pool. That we won't. Uh, uh not a card. Sorry, cards not the right. But get a relic out of the of the shop pool so that we can get better relics in the future. I didn't really think I need to upgrade cards, but... Let's upgrade Go for the Eyes. I think having a bunch of weak and a bunch of vulnerables where we should be heading in this situation. I'm gonna also go for question mark here. Because I like question marks. I'm getting another curse. It's fine. You know why I'm getting another curse? Because we want the curse daily bonus. Now, the curse daily bonus might also come back to bite me in the butt, which would suck. But uh, we're hoping that that's not the case. Claw over Pummel. You know, that's, that is really a hard choice. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, but I've chose to go for the Claw because... Claw stack really fast. Now we have a 23 card deck. That's pretty big. We might want to. Ooh, this is glorious. Check this out. You know what? This is good because we got rid of a card we didn't want to have in the deck at all. I will backstab. And I'll also play a power card because I can. It's going to be Cal Chops because I can. I'm going to pop a vulnerable potion because I can, which I should have earlier. I'm going to pop in Chop Blue because I can. And think about it, think about it, think about it. Pop Focus. And I'm going to my turn. So we get 12 block every turn. Every turn we get 12 block, which is like literally amazing. Oh, I just lost my perfect, by the way, but it's okay. I kind of thought I was playing Ascension Mode, and I forgot that I'm supposed to try and get perfect. So, you know what, game? Good for you. You got me. You got me, game. Got to do that. Now, the question is, don't want to do this. That's 22 damage. It's quite a lot of damage. This does 9 times 3, which is 27. Then I take 9. 27 for 9? I think that's a trade any man has been in. 16 for 3 is a trade any man has been again. What can I say? Like, I look at this and I say to myself, yeah. It's better for me to go for the damage than it is to go for the defense. Because I've lost the perfect ready, so let's just kill him. Let's just, he doesn't need to be anymore. He can go now. We, we're done with you, Mr. Guy. You can go home. Next, please. Echo form. I don't think so. I don't think so, game. Uh, Feather, Snake Eye, Philosopher's Stone. Um, I'll go Feather, that way I can upgrade the cards, because I don't need the, f the extra energy, and I don't want the enemies with the Thalix having an extra damage. So, that's the choice I'm making. Whether it's the right or wrong choice, we will find out in due time. AKA, after I lose the run, or AKA, after I win the run. Hopefully, it's the second one. The winning one, because I don't like losing. <laughs> I got so much energy, I'm snake oiling. Let's go. Hmm, was not a good snake oil, but what can you do? It's okay. We'll take some damage here. Quite a bit. Quite a bit, uh, indeed. Now, one could have argued I misplayed that. It's definitely possible. So, I'm worried about whether this is gonna work. I'm looking at this, I'm like, you know, we have zero defense, we've gone full damage. This damage does not. Out DPS the enemy. We are in trouble. Also, if I could stop getting regret in every single opening hand, that would be fun. Just you know, let's okay. Let's let's be more forgiving because I think I might be once again being a little bit unfair to slay the spire. Something I do quite often. How about we get fucking regret in every third fucking hand instead of every hand? I'm just saying that would be nice. I would be very pleased with that outcome. Because at this point, this is some bull fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Uh, you did not die. I'm going to believe in the electricity. It didn't happen. That's okay. I think I'd take like a ton of damage for that. So maybe I should have not believed in electricity. Maybe I should have believed in myself instead. That's what they always told me. Believe in yourself. But I never did. Um, so I'm, I'm actually worried about this right now. I was super confident like 10 seconds ago. And now I'm super worried. So, you know, it's kind of amazing. You know, Slay the Spy, how you can go from being very confident at one point and then literally five seconds later, looking like, mm, you know what, I might lose this run. I might actually lose this run. Lethality is something you shouldn't play with, guys. And what can I say? I played with it, so 
Choke. Choke can be very good. We got a lot of cheap cards. But right now, our deck is like super big. And I want to have it less big. So, it's okay. We get, I'm fighting an elite with like zero HP. You know, this is a this is a definite gamble. Definite gamble. And it was a gamble. I'm not sure if it's going to pay off. We'll find out soon. Nature dynamics. How freaking yes. Defrag. How yes. Chill this up. Anger. I want you. Okay. I want you to die. Guaranteed. I think somehow we survived that, which is great. It took all of our potions to happen, but we survived. And that's actually, if you think about it, isn't that all that really matters? The fact that we survived. Also, I misplayed that, by the way. I could have killed him there without having to go another turn. But now i got to go another turn. It sucks. There we go. Okay. Wing boots. We like wing boots. Steroid. We like steroid too. Uh, tactician is kind of good, but I think no. I think you knew. Snicker, you are a problematic friend. And of course, uh, we got doubt in the opening hand. At least it's not regret. So I'm not allowed to complain because I said, please stop giving me regret. Then the game was like, okay, cool. You didn't get regret. And then we immediately got like the worst hand I've ever seen in my entire status by a life. But uh, what can you do? So we are weakened. So I'm going to defend because we are weakened. Because I feel like it would be a waste to attack there. As our damage is way. And we are literally dead. Okay. Glacier just saved my life, by the way. For like one more turn. So if you don't die right now, I think I die right now. Is that a minus standing correctly game? Almost, 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 almost. Yeah, okay. We're gonna lose this daily, unfortunately. I made a critical mistake in my planning. Oh shit, this sucks. Okay, so I don't think I can kill you. Oh, like I'm not taking damage anyway. I'll just beam sound it in the turn. I'm gonna take a lot of regret damage. That sucks, but. I'm vulnerable. He should die next turn if we get any form of damage. There we go. Meat is like working overtime to try and keep me in the game. But I mean, Meat, you can only do so much. You can only do so much. So we need to upgrade the pack. There's no questioning it. Because we just want to put ice out and then we want to just fucking uh, do that. Dark stuff arrived. I don't think we care about you either. This next elite fight will be the deciding fight. We'll either win the run or lose the run on the next elite fight. So I'll be very interested to see where that goes. Maybe I'm going to win or lose this next run, but it'll be this next elite fight, so that'll be interesting. I think if it's the Booker stabbing, I think we pretty much screwed. But in a good way, at least. Okay, I need the front guy dead. Okay, I need the front guy dead. Thank you again. Thank you for having a little bit of mercy on my soul. I really appreciate it. I have to play Steam Barry because I'm going to take regret damage and I'm going to take uh, attack damage. So I'd rather just take the regret damage and not the attack damage. Uh, simply because I just physically can't afford to take both. If I take both, I will lose. Dude, book, pick a lethality. I can't believe I was stupid enough to build a deck and not think about uh, lethality and the impact lethality is going to have on my one. Okay, so we're going to start off by popping the backstab on the wizard, the strike on the wizard. We're going to go for this and hope it hits the wizard. It didn't. We're going to take out the wizard and we're going to take out the wizard. Okay, so we took out both on the first turn. That is really good. And we are dead. You did me dirty, game. You did me very dirty. Why are you not summoning people? Why are you attacking for 36 damage? I'm, I'm, I'm so confused right now. I'm so confused as to why you attack for 36 damage instead of summoning people. When what your job was supposed to be was to summon people. <sighs> Man, what can I do? What can I do to make you happy this game? Stay the spire. Have mercy on my soul. Please do not attack. Okay, that's, see, that's what you were supposed to do. I don't understand. You had one job and you didn't do it. Okay, we only have to do 26 to this guy. That's kind of doable if we get like two attacks. We did, but they're kind of really bad for us. Oh shit, I messed up big time. Are we dead? I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm still alive. But that was close. We almost lost this. We almost lost this because I miscalculated by literal two damage. You know, that's a scary, scary thought. That's a... Oh, blue candle is good. Off damage is amazing. And we're going to want to upgrade off damage immediately when we get the charge. Remove a card from the deck. See, now I'm like, these curses, they got to go, right? They got... Uh, do I have to remove a card? I can't change my mind. Nope. Okay. So we ha we stuck with the card. And now we've got to think. What are we seeing? And we see it. We're kind of like... Eh, rampage. Rampage. I see you. I understand you. I know why you're good. And I, I, and I see a path for you in the future. But right now, I, I just can't have you in my life. 
I need to move on. I need to find someone else to love. And that is unfortunately not going to be you today, Mr. Dude. I'm taking 19 on the first turn. I'm on 10. This will kill me, right? This actually would have killed me if I didn't draw this exact hand. Thank you, anybody out there who gave me this exact hand. Because I was literally dead. Okay, we're still alive for now. The question is how much longer can we survive? That is the real question we need to ask ourselves. Because we're about to tank it. We're about to tank it. Boom. Failed. Fails. Never good. Weakness. Love it. And that was weakness. That was the, uh, that was the opposite of weakness. You did the opposite of whatever weakness is. Did you on 4 HP? How are you still alive? You're supposed to be dead so I get a free victory and not lose this daily because I made one mistake. And I, did, I didn't make one mistake, but I made a lot of mistakes. Um... So I think it's too late to start adding defenses deck in all honesty. I just really do so. Skip it. Shop time. Shop. We the best shop that there ever was. Now, Stone Calendar is a boy. We know we love the Stone Calendar. We know we love a Focus Potion. A uh, Regen Potion, I think, is going to be better for us in the long run than the Poison Potion. Violence does draw us a lot of cards. I'm going to do it. And I just bought out. Okay, sweet. So now we got an option. Either we upgrade off damage. Or we heal to full. I'm going to try and heal to as close as full as I can. I think upgrading optimus is not the right choice. I'm going to pop this immediately. Now, I really want to get chill later on. Because the first turn chill is really bad for us, obviously. But it is what it is. So, we're going to chill for one, I guess. Would have loved to have chilled for three. But, you know. We didn't know what we were going to get. And because we didn't know what we were going to get, we had to play accordingly. So, pop a stereo potion here. One of you hit the front guy. Just one. I love you sometimes, so that's fine. If that lightning hit the middle guy, we would have been like in the world's greatest position ever. But, you know, we should just take the one, obviously. We should just be grateful that we're still alive, in my honest opinion, at this point. Like, at this point, you should just be like, you know what, Slayer Spire? I'm still alive. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Get rid of this potion. These potions need to go. They, they're a big problem for me in my life right now. These potions are not good. I need them gone. Stone Calendar 40 damage coming out in two more turns. So if we survive these next couple of turns, we could be fine. I only have, I have zero. I only have one card in my attack pile. That's not fair. That's not fair. Give me more cards in my attack pile, please. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna win this fight at least. I'm not saying the daily. You know, I would have said the daily, but now I'm like, who, who knows? You know, now it's like a, a mystery freaking puzzle or something. Because it could go either way. One more turn for our Stone Calendar. So Stone Calendar will literally kill everyone if I just end the turn. Except, I don't know if that's how that works. So instead, I'm just going to not do that. And I'm going to try and, like, do this. It does work, lad. Ah, cool. I wanted to test it, okay? Bum. Yes. Hmm. Yes. We have a chance of getting five curses. Donu and Decca. Interesting. This can go two ways. Way number one, we win the run. Way number two, we lose the run. I mean, it's a very simple system, right? You either win or you lose. It's not complicated. Oh, this is beautiful. Check this out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Baby. Baby, baby. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Give me more of those, please. What cry? Yes. I've been, I've been informed that Warcry is an amazing card and I've been a retard to not pick it up every single time. Now, I think Clash has to go because unfortunately for us, Clash has reached a point, I think, where we can't guarantee it. And when you can't guarantee something, then you need to remove it. Not, not the Hexagos. I mean, I don't want to say it's my own fault. I really don't because I don't think that's very productive. But I'm going to say it, guys. It's my own fault. You know why? I said not the hex ghost. So the game was like, excuse me, did you say you wanted the hex ghost? And I was like, no, 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 no. I clearly said I don't want the hex ghost. The game was like, oh, so you want to fight the hex ghost right now? He's hitting me for 60, game. Please, for the love of the fuck, figure out your fucked up broken shit, please. Because that pisses me off. Big time. Hits me for fucking 60 damage. And the game's like, yeah, that's normal. It's absolutely 100% acceptable. Let's make sure he gets the Hexaghost and not one of the people he can actually deal with. A. B. Let's screw him on bad RNG. C. Let's never give him Limit Break until his final hand. I mean, I can't really complain because they didn't give me uh, what's my call on to my final hand either. Regret. So that's kind of nice, but 
I mean, he's gonna die if the lightning sword gets shit and hurt me. Yeah. Dude, why did it have to be the hex? We got on season top. We got the card. I said, if we get this earlier before I added 8,000 cards in the deck, but I said, well, I said, if we get on season top, we'll win the run. And then we got on season top. I'm gonna take another war cry. Shops. Shop, 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 shop. 230 gold is a lot of gold. Ancient T set could be really good. Uh, Tempest is not good. Glass Knife is pretty good. Uh, Havoc is not good. Card removal. I mean, Steam Barrier is pointless at this point, I think. Um, Leap is kind of pointless at this point. I mean, we could just start removing all the expensive stuff, right? Just remove all the stuff that costs energy. T Ancient T set's amazing, though. And we can move a cut. And we can move a cut. That's a big one. Um. Fudge. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like cleave, cleave and go. Cleave's not really good. Yeah, I think. I mean, we lose some AOE, which is bad. I lose all gold and get a relic. For lose five gold and get a relic. Uh, okay. Where do I sign? Because I'll I'll sign. Just tell me where and I'll sign, baby. I'll sign. Just tell me where. And I'm there. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we have unseen top. Interesting. Very interesting. This turn is the biggest bullshit of my entire human life, by the way. But I knew I had unseasoned top, so I was like, we can go for it. One of two things happen. Either we get some shit, or we don't get some shit. Ah, I'm not sure about this run anymore, guys. I'm not sure about this run, man. Gotta fight elites. You gotta do it. If you don't man up and fight the elite, you didn't play the game right. That's all I'm saying. That's, I mean, it literally doesn't matter because... Please stop giving me all defensive cards, that would be great. I would very much appreciate to not get every single defensive card in the deck, that would be great. Our Pummel would have been great, we could have had it, but we got, we got 40 defense, which we're not going to get next turn, so we're going to tank a big hit of damage. Obviously pop Lemon Break, obviously pop this, you go Shiv, you go Shiv, you go Light because it gives you Light, and you do this for the most damage possible, and you take some damage, it sucks, and move on. That is a lot of damage, my good friends. That is a lot of damage. I'm just going to point that out there. I don't know if you guys are paying attention to the amount of damage that that is. That is just a lot of damage. It was way more damage than I was willing to have in my life right now. You know, in all honesty, I had, I had a zero damage policy going. It was kind of cool. Also, I really needed to not draw Heavy Blade there. I need to draw almost anything else. So, at the same time, if you game. I mean, even though it only does six damage, it still does six damage. I'll take one. It's fine. Okay, yeah, burn card. At least you were rid of the burn cards. That's good. Now, if I remember correctly, Don and Decker are boys that give us um, stats cards. So that's really bad for us and our strategy. Reaper. Reaper could heal us to full in a very lucky turn. Remove a card from your deck. I kind of want to get rid of Heavy Blade now. I kind of want to get rid of Heavy Blade because I joined it like twice and it stopped my flow. And I don't like my flow being stopped, if you know what I'm saying. I'll consider this elite. Uh, 10, 10 HP is a lot of HP, guys. But I'm going to go for it. Because you might get some really good stuff. Like Clash of Steel. And Apotheosis. Um, I'll skip these, though. Because they suck. Okay, so we're very low on HP. That's our biggest concern right now. Heal me. Just give me a right and heal me, baby. I love it. Oh, wait. Oh, we can get rid of right. I was like, oh, shit. We don't want right. And I was like... Wait a minute, we don't care because we, we can't take that. I almost took it. I was like, eh, and no. I was like, ah, and no. Just no. Just no. Do I find lit 58 HP? What if it's like the head or something? Ah, oh, I shouldn't do it. One day I'll learn my lesson, guys. But till then, I'm going to keep being crazy. Look, someone has to be crazy for you guys. If I'm not crazy, who will be your crazy viewer that you watch? I'm not, not, you're not watching a viewer. I, I'm, you're watching me. Glacier, you shut up, but I, you shut up at the worst time possible. <laughs> I need a Glacier, don't get me wrong. I was really like, hey, Glacier, please show up. I need you in my lifestyle. But uh, I needed a, like a, a different kind of way, you know what I mean? Uh, this will do the most damage, and then this will do the most damage after that. Beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I feel like we have an okay chance here. I have to take a ton of damage from my own cards in my own deck, which sucks. But it's okay. It's okay. Unseen top. I thought I had 
way more zero costs than this, by the way. I thought I'd like 50 million zero costs. Apparently, I didn't. Okay. <clears throat> Apparently, I did not. So, what we would actually really, really love for the upcoming f uh, fight against the boss is the. Um, what's it called? Um, a lot of potions. We like to have five potions. Also, limit break. We can play limit break occasionally. That would be really helpful. I'm not saying we're getting bad RNG by not drawing limit break. Or by always drawing limit break when you can't play. But I feel like we're getting a little bit unfair biased here. I mean, Flex is probably going to be played for free at some point. Oh, no, not the Spire Growth. We hate the Spire Growth, I think. I think Pummel was a mistake added to the deck, and I wish I could remove it from the deck, but I can't because once you made your bed, you have to lay in it, as they say. Okay, Glacier. Glacier, I don't know what your deal is, dude, but you refuse to show up. I don't know what you're... You, you're like... You're a weird man, man. Glacier's a weird man. I mean, you are super dead, and I'm even gonna heal for, like, three. I wish I got that heal like a turn it Ah, You know what? Give me any second. I can make that work. I can make that work, game. Okay, are we gonna? We are not resting up. We are full. We need to upgrade something. Innate after image, I think, is a must. I think it's a must. Okay, let's go. Don't in Decker. Either we win or we lose. Either we win or we lose. I love it. You know why? It's simple. I like simple. Simple's nice. Simple's fun. Get rid of this right foot. Piss me off. Chill it out, baby. Boom. Boom. Worst card we could have drawn, but it's fine. A little bit better. That's fine. Okay. 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 Not bad. It wasn't a bad first turn. We haven't taken damage. You know. We are okay right now. Rage it up. I think that's a guaranteed play. Get rid of this doubt, because doubt is a piece of P word. That we do not appreciate in our homes. War cry. Not that it matters, but whatever. Dagger spread, not that it matters, but whatever. Unload. Let's go. Anger, let's go. Claw, let's go. Flash of Steel, let's go. End the second. End the second. Okay, that was actually a bad ad. I miss I misunderstood how End this Agony would interact with my deck. Oh you know how are you not dead, dude? I don't understand how donuts are alive. This is some bullshit. I feel rigged, okay? I feel rigged. Limit break, hundred percent. Get rid of this regret, it's a pain in my butt. Play Glacier, it's okay. Play Elite. Play a flex, hope for like a zero cost. We got shame, get rid of shame. Hope for a zero cost. It's days. Okay, we got rid of a days card. That could be huge. That could be huge. So we need Donu to die right now. La Donu, will you please die for me today? I'm pretty sure we took damage on this fight. Because I, sh I wish I'm sure I was at full HP, so that sucks. Oh no, we took damage from the regrets and stuff, which doesn't count for. Uh, taking away perfects. So we're gonna perfect this boss. Woohoo! We perfected one boss! We perfect. We finally made an unceasing deck work for the first time in my entire life. I did it. Unceasing, unceasing top deck that actually worked. We got a shit score, but we got an unceasing top deck. And it worked, and it makes me happy inside. I always like to try and make an unseen top work, deck work, but it never does. It never does. 617, that's not a very good score. We haven't been scoring good lately, but it's because I've been going for wins over um, top 100 score. So, do we not have five curses? One, two, three, four. Are you seriously doing this to me right now, game? Okay, so we lost like a, about 400 places because we had one less curse in our deck. Would have really liked one more curse game, but what can you do? We even took curse key and didn't get another curse. That's a little bit, that's a little bit weird, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> Excuse me. From my point of view, that's a little bit odd. But for now, thank you very much for watching the episode of Slayer Spy. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps me a lot. I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next episode of uh, Slayer Spy Daily Challenge 1, which come out every single day on my channel. For now, thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.